Hi guys and welcome to Halifax Here. My name is Gina Harnish. And I'm Adam Cooper. Halifax Here is a My Halifax weekly podcast where we upload right here on our YouTube channel every Friday. We talk about things happening in Halifax, answer questions, and talk about things we thought you might like to talk about. So let's get into it. <laughs> This week's episode we're going to be doing a March recap of all the cool stuff we did in March. So the first thing we did was the 100th episode oh, yeah. celebration um, which we filmed down by the South um, Shore Road. Yeah. There's a little... Uh, There's a little park that's kind of like tucked away and yeah. we found... We, we were asked to make a video um, with some other YouTubers across Canada about weather and we went down there and we filmed the weather video down there which is really cool and uh, ever since then it's kind of been like a little hideaway spot because it's actually right the train actually flies right across the top where it doesn't fly it on a train track but there's a know, cool bridge yeah. over it and... so that's where we filmed it and uh, it was super cool because like it was very nostalgic for us because you know when we started this whole my Halifax thing um, like I wasn't sure how many episodes we do and now we're we got a podcast, we got all kinds of stuff going on, it's just really cool to see how much this has grown. Mm. And we had a lot of people actually comment and reach out to us and like talk to us, which is cool. Yeah, we got a couple comments on our video. Uh, I'll read a couple out. Um, one's from, now I might be butchering the name, uh, Helano Miguel. Um, I think he's actually commented on a few yes. of our stuff on, on Instagram too. On Instagram. He's, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, he said, that's legit, I've been in Halifax for just three months and I just fell in love with this place. I think I really understand what makes you motivated to do this. Congratulations, great work, and enjoy this lovely life in Halifax. Yeah. Which is such a nice comment, I just... What is lovely life? Like, so once someone actually said to me at an event, do you really love Halifax that much? Like, how can you love Halifax this much? And I was like, how can you not? Like, it's such an amazing event, and when you look at it from our point of view, um, which is why I keep, like lately, if you follow us on Instagram, a lot of the posts, I'm like, I'd love it if you, sus if you subscribe, I'd love it if you subscribe. I say that because if you subscribe to our channel, you get to see so many of the cool things that we get to see. And like, we have 100 videos, which is 100 different things that we've done throughout the city. And sometimes it's the same event, but it's from a different perspective. Like we were trying, like the Burger Week video we did, mm -hmm. we were trying to change the way we do it. And we're just trying to constantly show people just how amazing it is to live here and how lucky we are to live here. So when you people write comments like that, like you know, enjoy the amazing life, it's like, it's, it's really, it's it is legit. It's yeah, like, and I, they feel the same way. They they yeah. they love it here too. Yeah, and I like I love everything about this place, and making I feel so lucky that I get to make videos about it. Yeah, and I, I get asked all the time, like, how do you come up with idea? How do you keep coming up with ideas after a hundred videos? Yeah, and I mean, it, for us so far, it hasn't been that hard to keep coming up with ideas we just hunker down and make a list of stuff we haven't done stuff we'd still like to do stuff we'd like to do again and it turns out to be a pretty long list yeah. when we're when we're finished with it so yeah and things always come up that like you know you can't like legislate for the stuff we get invited to mm. and then like there'll be weeks where we're like we'll research over the week beforehand what's happening or what can we do and then we're like hey we, we don't have necessarily a event or a business that has said, hey, can you make a video for us, then we'll just say, hey, let's get creative. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just fun. It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple others. Um, congratulations for your 100th episode. Best wishes and hope to see you succeed. And we see your 1,000 episode. <laughs> that was from Mr. A71812. Nice. So thank you. And another one, uh, wow, you reached 200. Love your videos. Great work. Keep it up. That was from Samander Can Two Nine. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, those are just. I mean, it's just really nice to hear that from our from our audience. That yeah, they enjoy our videos and they feel the same way about Halifax, which is pretty yeah. cool. And it's nice when people like take the time to like reach out and yeah. comment and talk because you know you watch your videos and you see the like the amount of people go up and the amount of subscribers go up and it's cool. But for us, the whole point has been trying to have these conversations and mm -hmm. have people reach out to you and tell tell their story because I feel like 
a lot of people look at big cities like New York and like Sydney and all and Toronto and and they talk about them like the, with this kind of like infamy like they're so much better than here and the truth is they're not they're not any better and we have these talk this 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 community that's so cool and so unique and to have those conversations with people that are active in the community whether it's from being a business person being an influencer or being um, you know hosting an event it's just nice to be able to connect over what basically is just a love for Outbox. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was our first video for March, wasn't it? That was our first video, and then we did Peggy's Cove. Yeah. That video... Which was interesting. <laughs> that was a kind of... I've always wanted... I mean, everyone talks about Peggy's Cove, about being such an amazing place and just a great place to kind of like explore. And it is, and a lot of people take pictures there, and I just thought, you know what, it's such an iconic picture, or such an iconic like lighthouse, that I really wanted to get a time-lapse of Peggy's Cove here. Like the lighthouse. Uh, the lighthouse, and the sun come up like this. Um, so we got up at like 6.30 to like mission it over there, because at that point in time, the, event, the sun would have got up around 7.30. 30, 7.30, yeah. 7.30, so it was the idea is we could get there out 30 minutes early and kind of set up the shot. And then just let time flap, time time flaps, time, <laughs> time lapse go. But the problem was, we got there. It was cloud covered, and it well, was, it was snowing. It, not a lot. It was just kind of here inland, in, inland. But inland in the city, it was snowing. But when you got out there, it wasn't snowing. But my god, it was cold. It was so cold. Like at one point, like we should watch the video because it's kind of funny. I like hide between two rocks to try and keep warm. That was, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, unbelievably cold. But at the same time, we got to explore and go around, and because it was so early, there was just us there. And you know, even though you might look at Peggy's Cove and be like, "Oh, it's like a restaurant that wasn't open and just a lighthouse," it's really cool. It's really it's, cool to see, is. like, the nature. Like, there's rocks everywhere. Stay off the black rocks. Mm -hmm. The black because they're slippy. The regular rocks you can just climb on like Spider-Man, but the black rocks you must stay off. And the waves can like come up very suddenly and yeah and know. even when we were there like it was it was kind of windy because it's peggy's cove mm. but like some of the waves would be like Psh, and it was like oh that's pretty and they'd be like Psh, and like yeah. whoa damn yeah and we were like wicked far away from the edge and i was like damn that was a big wave like if, I, if you've been close to that you're, you're getting wet if not pulled into the ocean yeah. and you will not survive going in the water like if you're in the water that's it game over it ain't coming out yeah especially i mean yeah it's just terrifying to think about. But at one point the kind of the sun got up when the sun was probably about like quarter to eight the sun was now like up and high and it just burned through the clouds so we did get a really cool time lapse of like the clouds moving past the lighthouse. Because mm, it made the clouds kind of pinky and purple and yeah. it was really pretty. And I and then a little bit later like closer towards like 8 30 I managed to get a picture of Peggy's Cove like the lighthouse and if you can check that out on Instagram and it's just got such rich colour through it because like the sun's burning through and it's just, it just mm. looked really cool so you know we didn't, I didn't get the time lapse I wanted which was the main reason we went but it was just a really cool way to experience being there and because there was no one there it wasn't like you were like knocking elbows with yeah. all these tourists it was just the two of us and it was kind of it was like epic because and I hate using that word but it was like so cold and then the sun came and it, you could watch like literally it just change and you know like I've been to Peggy's Cove a couple of times and so have you but that one just felt different it just felt really cool to be like documenting like trying to create something and race against time and yeah. then just still make something that's still kind of cool yeah well for me I mean I've I grew up here and I I've only been to Peggy's Cove maybe once or twice and a, a long time ago like when i was a kid i haven't been there in the past like 10 years for sure yeah um so i and i mean for me it, it's not that spectacular just because i grew up here so i'm used to like lighthouses and rocks in the ocean so you initiated yeah i mean but it, it is beautiful and you know i would definitely recommend anyone who is new to halifax to definitely go and check it out maybe go early in the morning when nobody's there because it's really nice when yeah. <laughs> nobody's there um but uh no the nova scotia youtube i guess they have a youtube channel um they said hopefully you make it back when it is a little warmer for yeah. you <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's visit nova scotia on Instagram. yeah I, I think so yeah they i love those guys because they always like and share our stuff yeah. and i think not to say they get it in a patronizing way but 
that's another channel and like YouTube or another YouTube channel and like content provider that they're just dedicated to kind of like show off the best of Nova Scotia and we're like our whole thing is trying to show like the best of Halifax through typically through a support local like movement mm -hmm. because um, there's a lot of small businesses here that that's that's a big deal it's like the, 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 the support local kind of is the backbone of Halifax like you don't you get a few big box brand stores in here but like a lot of restaurants and a lot of the businesses especially on the peninsula they're all small businesses and they need so they need support from local people and that's again that's something that's kind of special about mm. Halifax yeah and another thing about Peggy's Cove it's not just the lighthouse there's like a little village and little shops and craft yeah, stores a lot of there. art, a lot, there. Of art. And, a lot of fishing as well like lobster boils yeah and, and, and there is a trail like a hiking trail yeah. that goes through there so there's a lot of activities to do not just to go oh a lighthouse cool like there's a lot of other stuff to do yeah and like if you uh, take the time to go to our YouTube channel and watch the video the ocean put on a hell of a show like mm. it was because it was I think because it was a storm like um, not only did the clouds change but like there's a lot of shots of the ocean just like beating down on the rocks and it just kind of gave you a sense of just power of the ocean it was yeah really, and it was really at cool. one point the sun rays were like coming through the clouds and yeah it's just like oh my god it's crazy which I start the Lion King yeah. Without, a, without a baby line. Yeah. So then our next one was Burger Week, which we actually did a separate podcast about. So I don't know if we want to really dive into pod, but Burger Week. Well, we covered the event. Uh, we took the approach for the actual video. We did differently. We focused more about the history of Burger Week and what it what what's, what it's become, how it affects the city in the in terms of impact and more from a point of view from what the coast have actually done with Burger Week and you know it started off a way to raise money and now it's become like such a big event and it's and um, still has that focus of again supporting local and helping feed Nova Scotia in such an amazing way but it also has this like way of bringing people into the city to buy burgers from local businesses and the local businesses like really step up to the plate and put on some like amazing burgers and we just felt like, because we did a taste test last time, which was actually really difficult. And in hindsight, looking back at it, that, that looks a little janky. We tried to stop motion, which was cool at the time. But now, having been in video a lot more, I'm like, oh man, that's a really janky yeah. stop motion. <laughs> but um, the whole point was, it was just kind of show, tell a more complete tale of it rather than, because I think some people really get into the feed nose gross side of it, and others really get into the, let's eat some burgers. And I just wanted to bridge that gap and tell you the story about how, you know, People and an organization that really believes in supporting the local came together and put both of those things right in the center of the city and said, hey, we can have fun supporting the local and raise a lot of money here. Mm -hmm. And that was a really cool story to tell. Yeah. And it was fun to see what everyone's favorite burgers were and everything. Yeah. Um, we got one comment from Leah, who mm -hmm. you actually know. Um, she said, my favorite burger so far was the one from Ronaldo's. It was delicious. My second favorite was Primal. Now I just want to get to Vandal Donuts to try theirs before the week is over. Which we didn't actually get to try, Vandal. No. Because they had crazy lineups. They sold it out like regularly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they won Burger Week. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, but that's that's the only one that I we didn't get to try that I really wanted to. But maybe next year. Yeah. I actually want to go and buy some donuts from them. Like, yeah. they're, like they're, what, the products they do, like they used to be the right snack bar. And those guys, they know food. And like they're... they're their donuts right now are just so out there in terms of creativity and just kind of blowing the doors off what a donut should be. It's mm -hmm. really, really cool. Yeah. I actually would want my feature in my, my Halifax episode. Yeah, we, we actually should do that. We should reach out to those guys. Yeah, we should. Randall Donuts, I'm reaching out to you. Um, I didn't mean to say that in a thrusting voice. I meant <laughs> to say that like, hey. <laughs> and then the last video we did was the Easter egg hunt. Yes, which, which is funny because... <laughs> Um, that's the last video we've done for March, but it fell like literally Easter Sunday was the 1st of April, but the event we went to was Saturday, so that's where it fits in. So if yeah. any of you are like calendar nerds and like, wait, 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 Easter yeah. was for the 1st of April, when, when we filmed this it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't mind being such a jerk today, <laughs> I'm kind of obnoxious about everything. I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but um, that was an event that um, we've never done, I'm pretty sure we've never done an Easter video. No, we haven't. 
Um, I don't know how that's ever worked out because there's always stuff going on. I don't know if it's just that we always had different things in the week prior yeah. and that became the video, but it's like the first Easter video that I can remember. And I'm sure you're saying the same too, so I can yeah. remember it. Yeah. And it's actually the first Easter egg hunt I've done since I've been in Canada. And it wasn't like a regular Easter egg hunt. It was like, it was pretty out there. Like I gotta say it was, it was a ton of fun, but at one point it was a bit like the Hunger Games. Yeah. And like, I, I haven't ever been to an Easter egg hunt like that either because I don't have any like younger siblings or younger people that I would take or, you know, participate with and yeah. go with them to something it like that. It was also a bit weird as the only two adults there. Yeah. With no kids doing this Easter yeah. egg hunt. <laughs> yeah, everyone else had kids and we were very clearly just there to yeah. steal everyone's eggs. But yeah, it was definitely like the Hunger Games. I remember one point you were going for an egg yeah. And this kid just ran up behind you and grabbed it. And yeah. We started laughing. We were yeah. like, oh. Well, it's funny because I laughed, him, but it was one of those laughs like, in my youth, <laughs> you and me, kid, would be going to Pound Town right now and having yeah. a fight about this egg. Um, but at the same time, it was kind of cool to see kids be that excited about it. And at the end, of the event we went to, again, if you haven't, if you'd like to, watch the episode of the vlog. Maybe we should link all the videos in yes, the description we should. so that you know what we're talking about. But, um, the basically the organizers of the vegetarium which also we should feature them in my half too because mm -hmm. that was a really cool idea and they're opening around they're a local fruit and veg shop and they basically scatter eight thousand eggs across this walking trail which we didn't even to walk trail before so it's kind of like a whole like new 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 everything was new that we would covered and like we'd never been there there before the walking trail was beautiful and everyone lines up and you have to collect 12 eggs there's six colors, so two of each. And then like two green eggs get you apples, two red eggs get you um, grapes, or grapes and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so these kids were like running around fighting for these eggs and they were getting fruit at the end of it. So it wasn't like they were fighting for chocolate. Yeah. And it was just super cool to kind of be there and you know, be a part of that. And they raised a lot of money for charity. Like I don't know the splits and like, I, was, I keep saying it, but again, I don't know if the whole thing was donated to charity or not, but. There was a thousand tickets sold. It was ten dollars a ticket. That's ten thousand dollars that was raised. And they sold out. Like they sold. They sold out. Thousand like, tickets. Clean, 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 clean sold. So like again, I'm I, I'm like seventy five percent sure like all of it was charity, but I don't know that. So if I'm, if I'm wrong, by all means, don't get mad. It's just not, I don't know. But um, mm -hmm. it was just cool to be to see that many people turn out, raise a lot of money one way or the other, and have a lot of fun. And it was packed. Like we always get early to shoots. So we can kind of get the stuff that we're going to film and some people don't like it when we're filming and not because i'm against us but you know if you're just not... kind of curious like what why are they doing with a giant camera and yeah like, oh. or they feel like oh no I'm, I'm on film and i don't want to be on film and yeah you know and at the end of the day when we're in public we can actually film wherever we want because it's public um, but that that being said we, we try not to like film people as, yeah well that's why we get there early or they're like we're not filming their children you know like no. we try to like keep that yeah mind. like if you watch the um easter egg hunt you won't see a kid in there yeah you there's like, a couple people in, in the background, in the background but, but like, you won't see like any people in there other than me um and we do that deliberately because i, I wouldn't want someone to film my kids that i didn't know yeah and we were, we were trying to be respectful of the people and like i said we always get to the to where we're going to film early so we can typically film as much as we can without like being in people's way or getting in people's way or basically you know ruining the, the event for them there are people that like love it and they'll come and say hi and yeah. that's that's cool we love that like we would talk to a guy during the easter egg about videos and stuff so. yeah he came up to us and was like asking us yeah. what we were doing yeah and it happened when we were at the um convention center people came to mm. be like hi you guys are bloggers and stuff like that so it happened, so it, this, you know, it's not like everyone's like super scared of the camera, but it's just a case of like trying to be respectful and not like ruin it for everybody or yeah. kind of offend anybody. Um, but we, even as early as we got there, they were lining up. People were lining up everywhere to mm -hmm. go and get into the, um, the egg race. Egg hunt. Yeah. Another thing, if, if you happen to be interested and you happen to go next year, you need to buy tickets. You do need to buy tickets. Because we did not know that we needed to buy, we thought we just would pay on our way in, but you need to buy tickets and then your ticket gets you the fruit at the end. Yeah, so because, and I were, firstly, Adam, this guy right here, 
So we need to buy tickets. <laughs> this one over here is like, no, we need to get into line. Well, it was very... Nobody said you need to buy yeah. tickets. Yeah. Really. Adam doesn't argue with Gina. So we went and stood in line. <laughs> then we had to leave the line to get tickets. Because I heard this woman say, yeah, I got our, our tickets. We're waiting in line. Yeah. I like, Even though I said that <laughs> 10 minutes before we were in line. But whatever. Um, the thing is, and I was thinking about this when we were going around because I didn't quite understand the format. I was like, what if they run out of like fruit and veg? Because there was a ton of people that I was like, damn, like, you know, but it turns out they had a thousand tickets and a thousand prize bags. So it's like one for one, which is cool. But I mean, I think anyone turning up late or anyone, if you go to next year and like you can't get a ticket, like, chances are you're not going to get a prize. Yeah. Also, um, we were there for probably about an hour yes. filming. And by the end of it, there were like, no eggs left. We found this out because I lost one of the eggs. Yeah, yeah, we found out we didn't have an, another orange one. So we went looking for an orange egg and there was none, like at all. Yeah, because I had this great strategy, which admittedly being an adult, and as much as it probably was weird to other people that I was an adult there, hunting for Easter eggs against like kids that were like a quarter my size, I was like, this is simple. Just grab the colors you need and you're done. But like, there were kids that were literally like grabbing everything and their dads or their moms were like, we have that. We have yeah. That. And they're like, <laughs> they're like redistribute the eggs, but I was like, burp, 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 and I got them all. Yeah, because when we first got there, they were they were everywhere. They were scattered. Yeah. You, like as far as you could see, there was Really bunch together too. Like it wasn't hard. Like I think I got all 12 that we needed in like seven minutes. Yeah, if that. Yeah. Le probably less than that. And um, then we were just really filming, kind of filming B-roll and just explaining what happened. and like showing us the eggs and kind of trying to explain the story of the event so it wasn't just like a 30 second video yeah. and then towards the end it's like oh no we've lost an orange one so it's okay we'll go back and look for them and they were gone yeah. like it was cleaned out like there was like the entire it was almost like bees like everyone had gone from like the one end and we went far we went far away from everyone so we didn't have to f we wouldn't like film people that want to be filmed or film mm. kids that they want to be filmed or any of that kind of stuff so we were like way the other end and like as we were coming around to just to go to where there's less people so we could film again we realized we were missing this egg yeah and then mm. going back there was nothing yeah like there wasn't like when we started there was occasional like broken eggs and like that but even they had gone yeah so at the very end we got this last egg and i was like because oh, we didn't really know how it worked we didn't know if you absolutely had to have two of each color in order to get the fruit because that wasn't really explained but it turns out or if it was explained we totally didn't get it yeah so, but you just need your ticket and you just get... Yeah, because I was like, well, you know what, we're missing orange. Well, I can live without two oranges. Yeah. <laughs> but um, when we got to the end, like, I gave the guy a bag and he's just like, here you go. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't even look at the eggs, really. Yeah. So. Could have put all the blue eggs in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could have. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did get one comment on that video uh, from... Oh, this is from the same person, Mr. A71812. Yep. Great job. It's really amazing to take part in bringing up charity and help the needy ones. Best wishes. Yeah. So and yeah. I know it doesn't sound like much when someone likes writes a single comment, or you only get one or two comments on um, your videos. And especially if you're like a regular watcher of YouTube, you'll see people that have millions of views and millions of comments. But when you are doing something, you can rate it from start to finish. And you do it so other people will watch it and like it. When they reach out to you and tell you that they really liked it and they think it was a cool episode, that means a lot. Because yeah, it's really exciting when we get a comment. We're like, oh, we got a comment. Yeah, because truthfully for us, it's like we make, we make, the videos we make for us is all about what we love, which is Halifax. And we, we generally love it here. Like this, there's, there's no act here for us. There's no propaganda. Like we, we're not at the level where we're like YouTube partners, where this is based up for purely on, for money or anything like that. We do this because we love it. Straight up. We just love where we live. So when people reach, reach out to us and they write back to us and they're like, oh, we think it's really cool. It's really like that means so much to us because it's like you get it. You get like, what's so amazing about Halifax, and it's mm -hmm. just it's great. And that's why, and that's part of why it's is when people say to us, "Can't believe you still think of all these ideas of videos." Is it's easy when you love what you do. Yeah, very true. Very yeah. True. Yeah. So I think we might wrap it up here. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Next week, we're going to be talking about some of our favorite events here in Halifax. So tune in next week. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, right here on YouTube. If there's anything you'd like us to talk about, please leave a comment below and have a great weekend.